This is the first paragraph, chapter one of IQ. Isaiah's crib looked like every other house on the block, except the lawn was cut even, the paint was fresh, and the entrance was a little unusual. That's an okay sentence. Well, let me tell you what went into that. My intention here was to give the reader a sense of place, like right now, because this, this is a crime novel. I, 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 don't want to, I don't want to do a whole big description of, of, of the hood. So it's Isaiah's crib, not his house. And if your house stands out because the lawn is cut even, you are not in a good neighborhood. And there's a second part of that sentence. The entrance was a little unusual. That's an invitation to the next sentence. What's so unusual? The security screen was made from the same heavy duty mesh they used to cage in crackheads and bank robbers at the Long Beach police station. Now, you might be getting a feeling of where this is going because the references are crackheads, bank robbers, and police station. The front door was covered with a thin walnut veneer, but underneath was a 20 gauge steel core set in a cold steel frame with a pick proof, bump proof, drill proof, medical double cylinder, high security Maxim deadbolt. Now, why did I focus on the door? For one, I didn't want to describe the whole house. I picked the relevant detail. Right? And what I'm trying to do is bring the reader in and ask the question, who needs a door like that? More importantly, who lives on, this, on the other side of that door? Now, there's a, um, <clears throat> I refer to a specific lock, the Medico, because I want to give a note of authenticity, of credibility to that door. I don't want to just say a big deadbolt. And then there is the way that it's written. Set in a cold steel frame with a pick proof, bump proof, drill proof, medical, double cylinder, high security, maximum deadbolt. That is my cadence. That is my rhythm. That is what I hear when I write. So I take a great deal of trouble to make my writing sound like my writing. So you need some serious power tools to get past all that. And even if you did, there was no telling what you'd be into. Word was, the place was booby trapped. Now, why would anybody think the place was booby trapped? So again, I'm inviting you in. I'm trying to make you curious. A cherry eight-year-old Audi S4 was parked in the driveway. It was a small plain car in dark gray with a big V8 and sports suspension. The neighborhood kids were always yelling at Isaiah to put some rims on that whip. Okay, it was cherry, but it's eight years old. Isaiah takes care of his possessions, but he's not rich. Now, this is a neighborhood where people, people value fancy cars, but Isaiah's car is small and dark gray. So I'm trying to separate him from his environment. I'm trying to tell you this guy is different. The neighborhood kids were always yelling at Isaiah to put them rims on his whip. So. The cultural expectation is that he will have rims on his whip, but he doesn't have them. Again, I'm trying to separate him out from his environment. So all of that thinking went into that first paragraph. And so it's, writing professionally is about the individual skills you've been learning about, like characterization and dialogue and those things. It's also the ability to integrate them and bring them and make them an expertise. When a race car driver drives a race car, he's not thinking about separate skills. He's not thinking about gear shift, clutch, steering wheel. He just drives a damn car. That's expertise. 